All right, everybody, welcome back to MyAndyBuck.com. It's not often that I do something like this. Uh, however, I bought a Google Pixel XL. This is the first Google Pixel. It's not the Google Pixel 2. It's the Google Pixel XL. Uh, and as I understand, the Google Pixel 2 and the XL also, they all work the same. Uh, and they all tend to have Bluetooth connectivity issues. I have a Lincoln that has the Lincoln Sync system in it or the Ford Sync system in it and my Google Pixel XL would never connect to it if it was connected to my Huawei Android Wear watch. Um, the Android Wear watch allows me to connect to phone calls and so I think what was happening was it was choosing the Android Wear watch over the Bluetooth on the car and I couldn't really figure that out. I tried all kinds of different ways in doing that. I rebooted the phone, I did all kinds of stuff and I finally stumbled on the way to fix the Bluetooth. This worked for me. I hope it works for you. There's no guarantees to anything, but it's worked for me for a couple of weeks now without any problems, and uh, I'm elated with my Google Pixel XL once again. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, first, you want to turn on your Google Pixel, uh, go into Settings, and under Settings, you're going to go into System, and under System, you're going to go into About Phone, and you're going to go down to the um, build number. Now, if you'll notice where that build number is, when I tapped it, it says, no need, you are already a developer. You need to tap that eight times. Just keep tapping it, and it'll say a couple more times, and you're going to be a developer, and it'll open up the developer options. Once you've done that, you, will go, you can go back out, and you'll see developer options listed. In your, in your options. So tap the build number eight times, back out, go to developer options. Now once you're inside here, you don't want to do a whole lot with this. This is very dangerous. You can do a lot of harm to your phone. However, if you go down through here, you'll find the Bluetooth part. It's right here. It says Bluetooth AVRCP version. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to try to... Okay. It says Bluetooth AVRCP version. If you touch on that, it defaults to the 1.4 version. I tried 1.6 and it did not work. Chose 1.5. Choose 1.5 on there and then back out of everything. Now at this point, what I did, just to make sure that everything was okay, I deleted all my Bluetooth devices. And then I resynced all of them and I, I actually turned the, the phone off again and back on again. I didn't do any kind of a hard reset, I just turned it off and back on. Deleted all my Bluetooth devices and went out to my car. Well, it still didn't connect. But what I figured out was, on my Huawei watch, on my Android Wear watch, if you go into settings here, and you go up to Bluetooth connectivity, I'm sorry, go to connectivity and then Bluetooth down at the very bottom you will see play phone voice call on watch you see that there? I turned that off so you would think that you couldn't take your phone calls on your watch which I don't know many people that do that much I actually do use that feature but I thought I would try turning that off to see if it would connect to my car. So I turned that off, once again, restarted both devices, went to the car, and it connected perfectly to my Google Pixel XL. It's worked well for two or three weeks, and as a bonus, I actually answered a phone call on my Android Wear watch. I'm not sure why it works, but it does not take priority over the car, but apparently when the car is not connected, it is the, the priority to answer phone calls. So I hope this has been a help. If you have any questions, relay them down at the bottom. This is not a, uh, I don't know that it's the perfect solution, but it seems to be perfect for me. It's worked out really well. Thanks for watching. I hope I've been of some help. Talk to you later.